are back again with Maria from So Cool Local, and we're talking about everything local in the Windsor Essex County area throughout the fall winter season. And hello. Nice to see everybody again, and nice to have you in our home, Tracy. Always. Um, we just want people to know that just because the summer season is over, that doesn't mean that all the fun and festivities are shut down either because the Windsor-Essex region and beyond has so much to offer. Exactly. And in case this is the first time that you are joining us, my name is Tracy Martins, and this is YQG in Bloom. And Maria has been on twice already, and I think it's going to be a seasonal thing. Windsor-Essex County has so much to offer. We have so much to do. It's really become a destination place. And that doesn't just stop in the summertime, which I think a lot of people think because it's farms and it's markets and breweries and wineries and all the fun stuff. Well, and Tracy, and look at our everything. weather. Our weather has been spectacular up until... Well, yesterday, today it's just rainy, but it's still quite mild. So we have the ability and the opportunities in this area to go to so many of these fantastic events that are still ongoing within Windsor, LaSalle, Leamington, Kingsville, Amherstburg, Harrow, anywhere. Well, I found that in the summertime we were really busy and then fall it's kind of it kind of slows down a little bit because school's back and people are busy getting back to work off of vacation. But mm. now it's ramping up with the holidays coming. We have so much going on. There are so many events, so many markets. I have magazines and books and Maria has been hunting online and... I mean, we could probably talk for hours. As, on. as per usual. <laughs> and there are a lot of indoor events too. So even if you have a family day planned or there's something you want to do and it's always like weather dependent or depending on the weather, there's a lot of indoor events that we could be doing as well. Some places have inclement things as a backup where they will go indoors as well. And a lot of these events are rain or shine. Yes. We have the little cider company right around the corner from here. And they usually, I'm pretty sure it's every Sunday of the month. Um, you could look it up on their socials, but they do uh, really nice cider events for the whole family. And if it is raining, they open up their barn and they have picnic tables set up. They are roasting chestnuts not that long ago at their last mm -hmm. event. So it really ha gives you that fall feel. I have to get out there. I have not been out it's there right yet. the corner from here. In, in case you don't know the Windsor-Essex County area, you can drive from Leamington to Kingsville to Harrow to Amherstburg, LaSalle, and Windsor just on one road. And it brings you straight through. Make so. a whole day of it. Yeah. Why not make a day of it and just, you know, pick and choose. I mean, you can't do everything at every stop, no. but you can pick and choose something at each event and then just make a loop and go all the way back home. I used to do that years ago when I would go garage sailing and we'd have the newspaper was more than just like four pages. Right. And we'd have the penny saver and you just mark off everything and make a map of which mm -hmm. way you were going throughout the entire county. So let's and talk about what are some of oh. your favorite events that you have seen that are kind of up and coming that have caught your eye? Well, first, before I do that, I just wanted to let you guys know, and I know this is really hard to get, but if you happen to see it, mm -hmm. It's called Day Tripping in Southwestern Ontario. And I know from a lot of people that it's really hard to find because usually when people, as soon as it's dropped off to small businesses, then people will grab it. And I was lucky enough, I was at Alter a Thrift Store mm. in Kingsville and they had just dropped them off. I had no idea what it was, but it is for all shopping in not just Windsor Essex County area, but throughout southwestern Ontario. So it goes to London, Port Dover, oh, Erio. Oh, Retro Suites, that's Chatham. It, mm -hmm. Chatham. So if you want to, you know, take a day trip outside of Windsor Essex County, mm -hmm. but they also do have a lot of our events. The events that I got were from this little magazine, which, again, is amazing. And you can find mm -hmm. it online as well. That's right. So that, that's what I like about that. So if you don't necessarily want to stay in the area and you want to go for a road trip and even stay overnight. Oh, right. Like the Retro Suites Hotel is a wonderful the themed rooms. Uh, Lee and I have stayed there. We've also went to Port Dover. They have a cute little boutique hotel that's there as well. 
But that's wonderful. I had the summer, the spring summer version. Mm -hmm. um, I did not get my hands on the fall winter one. Oh. But you can plan your this weekends one. with that. And the nice thing about it is throughout this magazine, they do have these little QR codes that I used. Actually, it brought us brought me to various BIAs in the area that showed even more events that might have come up since they have put this out. Because, I mean, they're always creating events and markets and, you know. How and that's what I like about this, because depending on what kind of situation you're in or depending on your job, some people don't always have the luxury of booking a flight, leaving on a weekend, which is the busiest time to travel anywhere, having a flight delayed, which you lose a whole day of your trip. This could be a few hours, four or five hour road trip. You're home the same night. And or if you want to stay out, you don't really have to travel that far from home in order to be able to get a full day mm -hmm. from like events, shopping, antiquing, garage sailing to any kind of events, markets and or like restaurants and coffee shops. You literally can plan every single weekend and get all of your holiday shopping because I'm always promoting buy local, gift local mm -hmm. for the holiday season. Like you're you're set for every single weekend up until like the new year, pretty much. If you're looking, following me or following you or looking at the day tripping page or following local businesses with all the markets that are up and coming. Now, this girl is the go to girl for the county, for the wineries, for the breweries. She lives in Harrow, so... Why don't you tell us about some of the misnomers that people have about your right. area? So last night, for instance, um, we had a wonderful evening with two other couples, friends of ours, and we ended up going to Oxley Winery, mm -hmm. which a lot of people tend to have the idea or the impression that the wineries are closed because it's now off season or it's not summertime. Now that may be true for some wineries that have closed down perhaps the dining area. Um, a lot of them are open for retail and or wine tasting for limited hours throughout the day. But there are other wineries out there that are open till 11 p.m., <coughs> believe it or not. So my friends and I actually went out um, to Oxley Winery last night. So a lot of people would probably be under the impression, well, what do you mean you went to Oxley Winery last night? Isn't the winery closed? A lot of these wineries do, in fact, have um, special events that are still going on in well into the winter months. Yeah, and just so that you guys know and why I looked at my watches, it is November 10th, and we still have nice weather. I mean, it's 57 degrees, but... We're not wearing parkas yet. That's right. So. <laughs> we actually walked from our friend's house. They live on County Road 50. We walked to Oxley Winery, and it was still mild and nice out. Mm -hmm. So they had a smoking Saturday. Um, so we had pulled pork. It was a nice set menu, but the dinner started at 6. So no, they're not closed. And there was beautiful live music, and it was just, it was wonderful. Now, is Oxley open year-round? I'm not sure when they shut down. I know our staff is also having a Christmas party there at the end of November. Now, Vin Winery is uh, a place that I went to, well, with Lee as well as with girlfriends. Mm -hmm. They're open till 11 p.m. So again, a lot of people have that notion that wineries are closed at five, which is generally the case in the summer, but a lot of them do have special events that are open late. So I'm just gonna refer to my phone here. So. Last night, we were at Oxley for their um, smoking Saturday dinner. Crew Winery is the only winery on County Road 50 or any winery that actually serves breakfast. Uh, we had a grapefruit mimosa and a mango mimosa. We rode our bikes out, and they have yoga upstairs. That's awesome for the yoga, but I'm kind of looking at the mimosas, mimosas well, right now. Let's go. <laughs> and um, the vines at Cooper's Hawk. Mm -hmm. Um, is having a special show on Saturday, November 30th. We're taking my stepmom for her 75th birthday, a live Elvis show. James Gibb, the Elvis impersonator, who's also our neighbor here in town, um, he will be performing, and I think it's a set, six or seven course dinner. So we're doing that on Saturday night at the Vines Restaurant, uh, November 30th, Cooper's Hawk. I'm not sure if tickets are still available, but people could call the Vines Restaurant and find out. So that's very interesting. I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Vin Winery, I had said, is open until 11 p.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with a smashed apple food truck catering service. So there's still a lot happening at these wineries. And if they're not open till late with special dinners, 
their retail and wine tasting is still available, mm -hmm. great for holiday gifts. If yes. you have wine lovers or wine drinkers in your family, instead of going to LCBO, why not pop into a winery and get something? Exactly. And I know Wolfhead Distillery, they are still open. Now, I'm not sure of their hours, but I think it's like 12 to 8, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. I think till 8 as well. But they have a fabulous restaurant and they have a really nice gift shop. And I know mm -hmm. that they do tours on Saturdays. They do tours and tastings. I, I think there's two different ones that they have. We've done the vodka tour. Yeah. It's really about a half I hour in length. It yet. So it's not very lengthy. You can do it in half an hour and still enjoy lunch and a couple of drinks and go home. And you mentioned their gift shop at Wolfhead. I love it. Well, I'm wearing the sweater, Whiskey Girl. And I almost wore mine. And <laughs> I got this there. Um, when we went to their, um, they had their Caesar bar. I think they opened that in the winter months. I can't On wait. Sundays. Okay. Um, Wolfhead, please bring back breakfast on Sundays. Mm, we'll be was, there. Oh, we'll the, there. their breakfast was amazing. But their gift shop, they um, have these really neat candy canes. And in the candy cane is their vodka and whiskeys, the little tasting. Yeah. So we, I buy that for my brother-in-laws all the time. They each get one every year because they love Wolfhead. And it's a little bit of everything in the candy cane. I'm really excited. I had to look on my phone just to make sure that I had this right at Wolfhead Distilleries, they have their vanilla biscotti and pumpkin spice cream liqueurs back. Oh, I saw that too. So good. They only had the almond biscotti one for a limited time. So it looks like there's more, or they ran out or- I don't were... know. Well, yeah, it was only supposed to be for a it's certain so amount of time last year. And then they ran it past uh, January. It was so good. We. We drank that a lot. I haven't had the pumpkin spice one yet, so... Well, you know what? Now that you're talking about that, I wanted to mention this, too. Uh, my husband and I like to frequent the Fruit Wagon, which is on beautiful County Road 50. Again, if you're heading through the county. And um, their daughters actually opened Carolinia Cider Company. I haven't opened the bottle yet, but um, they have non-alcoholic cider as well as alcoholic cider. And different varieties made from different apples mm -hmm. from their property, yeah. um, which is amazing. Uh, you could do samplings, you can do tastings, you could pick up local apple cider vinegar, all kinds of stuff from there, the fruit wagon. But they have the pole barn that they built next door is housing all the Carolinia ciders. We haven't opened it yet. It's a nice size for to 500 put in mils. A, yeah, but to put in a basket. Yep. Of any kind, that apple, the cider vinegars, which I had no idea about, and I love those. So that this is a new product that we had come across. We didn't do a sampling, but um, they were explaining. They did mention the types of apples that they came from, so we chose this one. So this is, if you're looking for holiday ideas, definitely, again, visit the local wineries, right? Pick something up along the way. You can try the cidery. Something different, because exactly. not everyone wants wine. Another thing that you can find in local stores is the holiday gift guide, the Windsor Essex County uh, holiday gift guide. It's yqgholidays.ca, and they have a lot of really nice gift ideas. That's great. So this is definitely, if you're looking to strictly shop local, Pick one of these up, it's free if you're in one of the small stores and it will give you a really good idea because I actually have a lot of friends that have the small businesses and their uh, products are in there. Since you're talking about um, local gifts too, what I like to do, because I am a teacher, what I like to do for my staff is last year I got nuts for dates, but um, another gift <laughs> idea, I'm kind of trying to get something for everybody. I reached out to Lisa at um, King Street Bake Shop and I ordered a special sugar cookie, one for everybody on my staff. If I'm buying something for somebody anyway, why not try to make a conscious effort to support a new local business, maybe even one that's newer, mm -hmm. right? Just to kind of exactly post about them, gift them, they'll tell somebody else. And then it gives them gift ideas for something cool and different. Nobody else will have it. And also the thing is, is if you do decide to do a day trip and go to somewhere else like Erio, Port Dover, Chatham, 
find some small businesses there and support their local communities mm. as well and add to the Christmas presents and make sure that it's it's local, it's loved and it's everybody unique. appreciates unique, it. Unique, extra special and it's that whole notion of meet your maker. Oh. Right? You get to meet the people who created this stuff. It's not just something I picked up off the shelf at Winners. And people appreciate when they see it and they're like, oh my God, where did you get this? I had, I had no idea that this bowl came from wherever. And you have a little bit of a story to and go And you know what? It. I know, Tracy, it wasn't in my notes per se to talk about mm -hmm. today, but there was a little local business that I was at in Essex on Thursday evening with a girlfriend. I went to Fate. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, she now has a whole pet section, there's teas, there's things for children, for men, for women, clothing, shoes, accessories, handbags, there's a whole section of beachwear, um, pickleball t-shirts where I've had pickleballers, so there is something for everyone and she advertises to, um, I just posted earlier this week, unique and local gift ideas. Stocking stuffers, even small oh. things. It doesn't need to be a large item, but again, it's supporting local. And literally a few steps away is mm -hmm. HB and Co. or Higher Vibes. Limey's is there, oh. stepping out. Yeah. Gift like, cards for Acorn and Oak Coffee, Branco's Pizza House. Like there's so many. I think mm -hmm. Tailgaters just opened there too. I think so. And then, I mean, Shinkles. Right. You got meat everything. Market. And they have amazing uh, gift packets too. They do. You know, meat and cheese they packs. They do. You know what? I also wanted to make sure that I mentioned um, up and coming area in Amherstburg. We hung out in Amherstburg last weekend and my husband and I actually booked two nights for Hotel Story, which is the brand new renovated um, boutique hotel mm -hmm. on Murray Street. So we're really excited to check that out. I believe there's only six units, but um, downstairs is the freight street food, the little alley. Oh yes, yes. And the uh, O-Bar is attached to it. So we went to the O-Bar for drinks, spoke to the owner of freight. Um, obviously we weren't eating there. We ended up eating at a hole in the wall. <laughs> so that's a new place too. It's actually called a hole in the wall in Amherstburg. And Enzo Mancuso, who used to own Enzo's on Erie Street, mm -hmm. is the main guy. So you know the food is going to be, is gonna be good. So we did that for a birthday dinner out. So we went to hole in the wall for dinner. Then we went to Obar for drinks. Mm -hmm. um, we were able to check out the freight little food truck alleyway and a booked hotel story. And I can't wait to try that new coffee shop bucket list. Yes. Yeah, Every we time that. we went in there, it was opening weekend. There was a lineup, so we didn't get a chance to check it out, but we're hoping to do that over the holidays. So that's all within one block on Murray street in Amherstburg. Mm. Oh, I know. There's, there's... Riv like Rivers End bookshop, Evelyn's candy house, oh, Whitewoods. It's my favorite area. My favorite area. So you can't it's go awesome. wrong. If, and, and Amherstburg's got all kinds of holiday things coming up too with it, your lights. Exactly, and that's what I was river literally lights, right? just going into. Yeah, Amherstburg, they have their River Lights Festival starting November 16th to January 5th. Okay. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. till December 22nd, their gingerbread warming house will be available. And you get free hot chocolate. You get to see all the gingerbread houses that are in the contest. It's a cute little area. Oh, good for the kids too. The kids love it. It's wonderful. And then they also have January 25th is True Fest. And that is from 6 to 10 p.m. And that's right on Dalhousie Street. It's a disco dance party and it celebrates diversity and inclusivity. Mm -hmm. It is fun, fun, fun. I went there last year and I it was one of my favorite events. They have like I've a DJ, to. right? With oh, the blues it, and... they cha they change it around all the time, but people are just you know they're going around the street. We're dancing. We we just had a blast. If you're looking for local products to buy, like Leamington Art Center, until December twentieth, from Tuesday to Saturday, eleven to five p.m., they have their Christmas indoor arts and crafts show. So there's always going to be stuff and it's not just like one weekend it's right through then you have your kingsville fantasy of lights and that's now until january 6th and they also oh 
they had the express train rides, which oh. the Kingsville express train rides. I never heard about it. Me neither. But it's $2 per person or $5 for a family of four. And oh. it brings you through their little light section. Really? And then they also have um, December 7th from 2 to 8 p.m. And Sunday, December 8th from 10 to 4 p.m. They have their Christmas artisan market at the Lakeside Pavilion Park, which is okay. right where they have their lights anyway. Mm. So, I mean, there's so much going on here. I could, we could probably. Well, and you know what? It. I just wanted to touch upon a couple yeah. of things too. So I don't think you mentioned it. The mistletoe market. It's two floors, yep. and it's at the Water's Edge Event Center, December 7th and 8th, $4 admission. It's two floors, so there's probably a lot of vendors and a lot of gift ideas. It is so nice. It's on the corner of Riverside Drive and Drillard. I actually was one of the vendors there last year. Okay. And it's, it's so huge. I wanted to mention that one because that is, sounds really cool. It is definitely a go-to, and make sure you know that there is a basement section and okay. there's so, so much, there is two floors. So going on. I also saw that the Cured Craft Brewing Company is having a holiday paint night, which is something fun. I know some families don't buy gifts for one another, so they find an event or a charity to support, and they make it a family night out. So they're doing um, a holiday paint night on December 3rd. And uh, the Mama Market, the Windsor Shop Local, it's a second annual at the Fogelar on Saturday, November 23rd. I love the Mama Market because fun. they always have a lot of really neat vendors. So I really wanted to give them a shout out. Christmas craft and gift show at the LaSalle Event Center, over 100 plus vendors. So we have Anna's Holiday Open House, um, November 16th. Make sure to follow Anna's online mm -hmm. because they always have so many cool events from local artisans. And then I did notice also December 1st at the Kingsville Museum is a Christmas market. So you might want to check mm. that out. I found that in the day tripper. Um, I saw something too. And again, it may not be holiday themed, but I love um, a state of health in Kingsville. Mm -hmm. And they're actually having a shamanic or shamanic soul connection retreat which looks really, if you just need to decompress before the holidays start, cause it's so busy. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of um, forest bathing, um, sound baths and things like that. What is forest bathing? We actually <laughs> no. do it all the time. Um, it's just going for a walk in nature. Oh, okay. A amongst trees, like we have a really big bush at the end of our street here. And when we walk the dogs or just go by ourselves and you leave your phone and you just sit on the bench or sit on the ground and just enjoy nature. Nature. So they are actually having a really cool um, soul connection retreat November 30th. Ooh, and it's in good. Kingsville. And some people just need to, the holidays are a crazy busy time. And some people, it brings on more stress than anything else. Mm -hmm. um, mental health and wellness or anything. And you just need to take a deep breath before the craziness starts. So I wanted to mention that. I really thought that was interesting. And I wanted to mention the cheese bar. They always have really cool events and classes. So again, if the weather is getting cold or it's windy and rainy and you don't want to venture out, um, I know my stepmom just signed up for a sourdough bread making class there. And there's a variety, how to make your own charcuterie. Um, the farmhouse market does charcuterie board classes where you can munch and sip on wine and so the cheese bar always has really neat events. So if you look them up online, mm -hmm. they always have up and coming, again, make and take. I think Williams Food Equipment had a bread making. Literally just thinking that. They did too. Actually, every couple, every I'm not sure if it's something. every weekend or every other weekend, they actually mm. have something and it's some of their products that they sell there. They show you how to make them. They have recipes. I just got their uh, calendar there for next year and oh. it all has a ton of recipes. The Walkerville Brewery Holiday Open House, which will be November 29th. But I was looking on their website, Walkerville Brewery, and they have so many different events going on. All the time. All the time, mm -hmm. all the time. Every weekend there's something different. You get some. You can get some really good music. You have mm -hmm. dueling pianos, the trivia nights. Mm -hmm. There's just always something going on there. It, it's a great place to go and relax. And That's right. I think GL Heritage too has maybe some things going on. Again, I don't have it in my notes specific, but they usually have something going on too. Do. And they're not too far out in the county. No. Ish. It's kind of you know now with the, the markets. 
farmers markets slowing down, all the holiday markets are popping up. I love the local maker too, right? Yes. You can't go wrong there because you go in there and there's dozens of vendors who have things. So there is something for baby, something for kids, something for anybody there as well. So I really like the local maker all year round if you want a unique gift. For sure. And gift cards. Like, don't forget gift cards. Some people tend to say they're impersonal, but if you get a gift card to a local coffee shop or something, it forces somebody to go in, support that business, try it out, maybe bring a friend, and then say, wow, this place is neat. So if I'm giving a gift card, I try to avoid, like, you know, the Visa, the LCBO. <laughs> yeah. the, I know everyone would be happy with those, but why not give a gift card to, like a new local business, coffee shop, a new little marketplace or something where they're still support. It's forcing the person you're buying for to support local. Exactly. So I like to do that too. Other places that you guys can buy gift cards for or even go yourself. I know the Chrysler Theater, they have gift cards, but also the Windsor Symphony Orchestra, they offer gift cards as well, or you can go and see them. They have a lot going on right now to Christmas. They have Handel's Messiah. If you look on their website, it's playing in Windsor and in Leamington, depending on the date. And then we are going to the Holiday Pops, which is all the Christmas oh, music with the symphony. That would be nice. And they're December 21st and 22nd, and they still do have tickets available. Yeah, I've just noticed this year, I've gotten involved in a lot of different uh, events, our arts, our music in the Windsor Essex County area is amazing. I've been going a lot to the Chrysler Theater, the Capitol Theater, Cortisone Theater, and seeing the Cortisone productions as well as ACT, their productions. I just saw Rent at the Capitol Theater, which was I amazing. That. I heard. I'll have to come uh, one time. And then I just love the symphony. I discovered it. It was great. And... We just keep going. I, I was lucky enough to uh, interview the maestro and started going. And it's like, I never thought I would enjoy the symphony, but there's something about it that it's just very exciting to watch. And something different to do for a form of entertainment. Exactly. And why not gift that for somebody too? Exactly. It's a wonderful idea. Different experience to introduce these mm -hmm. things to either family or friends. Yeah. Give them a couple of tickets. Exactly. Yeah. The the Chrysler Theater. Oh my gosh. I just went and saw, we saw ABBA revisited there. We had so much fun. We had a blast. That's good. We have to get out there. Now that we're all the way out this way, we, you know, we tend to explore the county. For us, it's a drive, but it's worth it, it sounds like. So we'll have to make sure we do something, yeah, either the symphony sure. or one of them, one of these, one of these evenings. So Another really good Christmas present is coming in February, the end of February, beginning of March, is Cirque du Soleil is coming back Again. to Windsor. And it's their OVO performance with all the bugs, yeah. which the kids would love. I saw Perfect OVO Christmas. in Toronto at the, I think it was at the uh, exhibition. Is Great. it at the WFCU? Because I saw one of their shows that was at the WFCU the last time they were here. Oh, when nice. When Lee and I still lived in that area, we had tickets and we saw them. And you can never go wrong with the Cirque du Soleil show. They're always wonderful. It's magical. We could actually both go on all day, different things to do in the Windsor-Essex County area. And I can't stress this enough. Make sure that you follow local on social media. Follow the BIAs. Visit Kingsville, Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, visit Amherstburg, LaSalle, Windsor. We find out a lot about these events from Instagram and their local makers that are sharing events. Mm -hmm. And that's how we find out about it. And it literally doesn't take that long to uh, hit a like and you're going to find some nice products, some nice events. Really and everybody's shopping now. Everybody's shopping. They're starting their holiday shopping if you're organized or if you don't shop. It's just something to do to get out and see get, what's out there. Gift for yourself. You gift for yourself, <laughs> gift ideas for up and coming things. And I mean, you can never go wrong with supporting local, so. Exactly. Thank you so much, Maria. I really enjoyed this. Okay, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> and I love chatting about this because we can go on and on all afternoon, so. We really could. Unfortunately, we are just chatterboxes and we love local. So that's not unfortunate. 
Loving local is something that I think more people need to do. And it's something we're very passionate about. Again, my name is Tracy Martins. And I want to thank you so much for joining me for another episode of YQG and Bloom. Be sure to like and subscribe so that I can make sure that this stays free for all of our local creators, makers, businesses, events, and charities in the Windsor-Essex County area. You guys all have a great day.